Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a verified PayPal account in Ghana. In fact, there are so many countries that are not available on the PayPal platform. So if you live in any country where PayPal is currently not accessible, you can also use this same approach to create a verified PayPal account. My name is Alfred and please, before we proceed, kindly subscribe to this channel and then hit the like button on this video. Also, if you have any questions after this, kindly leave a comment. Let's get right into it. So over here is the PayPal website. You can access this by typing paypal.com. It's going to take you here. You realize that they have an option where you just put your phone number and then they will send a link to your phone so you'll be able to create a PayPal account. Don't do this, especially if you live in Ghana. So what we are going to do is we're just going to scroll down to the bottom of this website okay and then down here you see there is an american flag here just click on that so when you click on the button it's going to take you to this page over here you see all the countries that are currently listed on paypal now if your country is not here what i want you to do is to scroll down to where it says asia pacific look down here where you find united arab emirates and then just click on it you see a button here sign up for free don't click on that you see down here it says own a business open a business account yes go ahead and click open a business account it's going to ask you some few details we're just going to put our details here then we'll put our email then we'll put a password just check this box and then after all of that is filled just click on agree and submit so when you get to this page you just click on start activating your account so over here choose individual seller sole proprietor if you go ahead and choose a business it's going to you know ask your business registration information and all that and of course you don't have it so just choose individual seller then you ask you what's your business called you can just put here your full legal name right you have that then what type of business is this over here it's an individual business so choose that then put your date of birth okay so what's your nationality leave this at uae okay now it's going to ask you for your phone number okay now with the phone number you don't have your country here so no matter what you can put your actual phone number in here sometimes you can generate a phone number which you can use to verify it but then most times if you just put any random number here it's going to work then it'll ask you for your residential address. Anytime you see any box that is in red, it means that it's a required area. So you just put in your address there. The additional information is not in red, you can leave that. The city is not in red, you can leave that. Over here, it says Emirates, which part? Just choose Dubai. And then click on next. Okay. Now it says, what's your business registration number? Again, this is not in red, so you can leave that. What's the primary currency of your business? I mean, I'll choose US dollar, but if you use pound or anything, you can choose that in the list. Over here, it says, what do you sell or what service do you offer? Okay, so now you just click on the drop down and you look for something that's similar to, you know, the service that you provide. So digital goods, applications, excludes games, right? Let's just choose that. Do you have a business website? Well, if you have a business website, you can add it. If not, you can just select no. And what's the business address? This you can use your residential address as you fill that information already. So you can take this and that will come in here. You click on next. Okay, now this is where you do the identification step. Now with the identification step, you can use your real country because that one you find it in the list. You just click on the drop down and you select one of them. Then you click submit. Okay, so as you can see, we are all done at this stage. We have created our PayPal account. Now we need to check our email to check whatever people are sent to us. Okay, so it says that confirm your email address here. So let's just confirm that. Okay, confirm. Okay, ask our password. Your email has been confirmed. Okay, so we are currently here. We have our profile verified. Our email has been confirmed as well. And then we have our PayPal here. You can go ahead and start using it. But then 
if you come down here you see this notification it says we want to confirm that the information in your paper account is accurate as we notice some suspicious activity in your account okay now you click on see details okay this step is very important if you don't do this and you send any money to this paypal account you end up losing that money because you probably wouldn't be able to transfer it out sometimes you'll be able to but then you know your paypal account will not be usable at all so pay attention to this step it says that we want to confirm that the information in your paypal account is accurate as you notice some suspicious activity in your account so what they are asking for is upload of a photo id so they want to see an id of yourself and then they'll be able to you know approve your account all that you have to do at this stage is just click on resolve here and then choose a document type if you live in ghana try to use your national id right your ghana card or you can also use your passport i do recommend you use your ghana card because that is easy okay you just choose national identity card and then you just upload your card over here i have mine and then you submit as you submit you'll be able to verify your paypal account of course it's going to take at least 24 hours to get this verification done sometimes 48 hours but eventually it's going to come through as soon as you see the email that your account has been confirmed and then now you are good to go you can now begin using your paypal now a lot of people end up getting their account suspended even after you know they verify their paypal account so if you are interested in knowing how to secure your paypal account so you avoid all of these limitations and stuff you can let me know in the comment section so i do a second video about how you can you know safeguard your paypal account in situations like this so you don't get your account suspended thank you for watching this video and again please subscribe to this channel like this video leave a comment share this to someone i'll see you in another video I'm out.